Honey Heart C. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Stable. We are hunting Yule Goats today. So I thought I'd create this tips and tricks video of how to find the Yule Goats. And where we're gonna start is going to be in Veildale. This video is for anybody that's having a hard time finding the goats or they just wanna know basically where all the goats spawn at. So even though I'm running away from the location, I wanna be able to make sure I have a clear shot whenever I come into the location so you can see where the little falling star is. You just gotta make sure you can see it whenever you're running in because you do not want to miss it. That very, very first Yule Goat is the hardest one to find, but this makes it a lot easier. So, okay, there you go. So I can see the beam of light there. Any minute, it's going to activate. Any minute? Did it do it already? Oh no, I think it already activated. Okay, usually if you run on in, which I'll show you with the other locations, you'll see a beam of light, but it says eight out of eight. So that means I have found zero of the goats for today. If it says seven out of eight, that means I've only found one. All right, so now if you miss the star, you can easily log out and then log back in. All right, I'm logging back in. Now quickly look at the star. There it is, see, there it goes. So now you have to run very quickly and try to keep up with it. So we didn't see exactly where it fell, but if I keep my horse in line with it, then you'll be able to run right into the Yule Goat. So if you're having any trouble at all, log out and then log back in to catch that falling star. So usually there's a Yule Goat that generates here, but it looks like she's not here. So let's just keep on going. Oh, there she is, so she's over here now. Now you can continue to collect your goats as normal. Now this location is the most difficult to find all the Yule goats because we've got all of the trees and the bushes and everything, so it's really challenging. This is the hardest one for sure. So there is a goat in here and you can tell there's a goat because my screen is a little frosted on the edges. Star Stable unfortunately made this one really, really difficult. So let me go back in and notice how my screen will start to frost. Oh, see it flicker? It flickered once. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, right over here. Oh, wait, I lost it. Where did you go? Where's that little goat at? This one takes me the longest to find all the goats for the day, for sure. But don't give up, you can do it. Sometimes it helps from coming into the bushes at different angles. I don't know what happened. Sometimes the goats do run, so it's possible that that goat ran because my screen was flickering, but it looks like it's not doing it anymore. So let's go find the goat's brothers and sisters. We'll do the same thing. So kind of scope the area. Do not go past this white bordered wall here. Okay, so Star Stable just picked a really difficult spot for these, but keep on going. Okay, see how the screen flickered? It means, there it is right there. There's our very first baby goat. All right, come here, you. There's the first one. Make sure you click it. Make sure it actually attaches. Sometimes they don't attach. All right, it attached. Now we're just gonna keep on following this white. Oh, screen is flickering, so it means we've got a baby goat right there. All right, there's one more to find. And it's really nice that Star Stable like gave us that white border to kind of keep you in, so you know roughly what area you'll be able to find these baby goats. I'm telling you, all these trees just make it the perfect hiding spot. Oh, it's glitching. I don't know what's going on. My game has been glitching a lot lately. It's been crashing less, but glitching more. Oh, it's flickering, and there it is. All right, attach on. Yay! Three little baby goats are following. Bring them back to their mom. And what is she gonna do? She's running, she's running from me. Now, whenever you get her to run, it's best to have it, if you can possibly do it. Can we get her, there we go. I wanna have her face the beam of light as much as possible or make it just kind of easy so I can see it because I'm gonna have to like run as fast as I can to it to catch the next star. So here we go. So I don't wanna like get her while she's like down into this hill or something and then it's gonna take me forever to come back up the hill. You know what I mean, know what I mean? Cause it'll make it harder to see the beam. I'm gonna activate the mom, but I'm gonna get myself in a position where I'm not gonna get trapped on stairs. As soon as I hit her, immediately go and run to the beam of light. And then you will see that star go. See, there it goes, that red little star. Boom, it activates with the portal. And now keep looking up because you're gonna see the next star. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. So follow that star, follow it, follow it, follow it as much as it can. There it is. Okay, so it stopped over here somewhere. Once you find that first goat, it becomes easier now. So now you'll be able to find them. See, there she is, right there. So there's not like direct locations where they will be. It's just in general where you will find them with where the star will drop them off. And the other two seem like they ran over here. Oh, see, you can kind of see them in the distance, right? Even before you approach them. Then the screen will flicker. There's the flickering, kind of frost and click. And there's the other one. Ooh, that was lucky that they were kind of close by each other. All right, attach to the mom and see how we can barely see the beam. Beam is like way over there. So this is gonna be really challenging when she starts to run. Oh, actually looks like she's gonna chase me. So I wanna loop her around over here. So I'm gonna try to tire her out so I can see the beam of light because I wanna get to it as soon as possible. She's starting to tire out. So I don't want her to go too far from this area. Oh, but don't get me. All right. Activate the goat and quickly run, 
Run, run to the beam of light. Don't miss it. Oh, there's so many trees. No, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. Oh no. Okay, there it is. There's the star. And aim your horse right at it. See, there we go. So if I keep going straight, I know I will run into it. And sometimes they're really far from the portal. See, look how far this one is. This one's really far, but there she is. So I kind of lined up my horse in the direction of the star, and now I was able to find her. All right, kind of keep an eye on whenever you click the goats where they kind of scatter to. Sometimes they group up, sometimes they go in all different directions. So there is a baby in the bush here. There we go, right there. Really hard to see this little guy in here. There's another one, you can see it right here. One more. There it is, right there. Woo. All right, those were not too hard to find at all. Got all three babies, take them back to the mom. Now again, I'm going to want to have her either get chased or chase me up over in this area so I quickly make it back to the beam. So she's chasing me. So let me, ah, let me tire her out one circle this way. All right, now I'm gonna start looping her up here so it'll be more convenient for me to run towards the beam. Come on, get tired, get tired over here. All right, activate the goat, run to the beam. There it goes. Okay, now pay attention to where that star is gonna go. There it goes, it's falling that way. All right, this one shouldn't be too bad because it's pretty out in the open now. We don't have as many trees and bushes. All right, so two babies went that way and one went that way. And it's gonna be the same for every single goat, just as long as you do it that exact same way. So here, we'll click her. There she goes, she's running, got her. I can see the beam. Click to activate, run towards the light. See where that star is gonna fall. Keep an eye on it though. All right, there it goes. Oh, it's far, oh. All right, that one's gonna be a little difficult to find, but again, I'm gonna aim my horse kind of right at it so it's completely in line. So I know if I just keep going straight, I'm going to run into it, even though I was not able to see where it fell. And of course, if I had a hard time finding her and I was running around, running around, I can always log out, log back in, and then look at where the beam is, and then it will reset the star again. So we'll pay attention to where the babies scatter. Boom. So two are running off that way. One ran off that way. Oh, you can kind of see it went up in here. Gotcha. Sometimes you have to kind of go around, because I was checking this bush out, and I couldn't see it. See how well the baby is hidden from here? But as soon as I like loop around, now you can easily see the baby peeking out. There's definitely some navigating you have to do. You have to loop around, you have to recheck, you have to recircle around. It's a grind. This is definitely a, a grind. And because there's eight Yule Spirits that you have to get at each location, and there's five locations every day, you're gonna be spending a lot of time on Star Stable if you want those prizes, for sure. The path is right here, so it'd be nice to keep the mom on the path there. So let's click that. So she's budding me. So I'm gonna loop around and tire her out because there's the beam of light. I can see it barely over here. So you just wanna set it up in a way that you can just see the beam as easy as possible. Click to activate and run. We're far, we're really far. You can barely see the portal from here. Okay, there's the star, it's falling. Go find it, you can kind of see it, you can kind of see it. Get ready to line your horse up for whenever it stops. Okay, there, so now if I just keep going straight, I will run into it. Ooh, my voice. It's really early in the morning right now. I'm still trying to wake up. Okay, there we go. So there she is, boom. All right, watch those babies scatter, kind of go up off that way. So click, she's butting me. Ah, let's get her in position to come and find me over here. All right, click and run. Let's see, where is it gonna go now? There's the star, run! Follow that star, follow it. All right, it fell over here and it'll start snowing as I get close. See how it's not snowing? And as I get close, now it starts to snow again. Boom, okay, watch those babies go. So two went that way and one was over here. Well, this one wants to be found. Hey, little guy. That one was really happy to be found. I see it already right there. Oh, it's glitching. Oh, it glitched. That was a bad glitch. Line up with where the beam is. Their beam is over there. So I'm gonna activate her. Oh, now I gotta run. See how she's running away from the beam? I wanna line her up so it's a little bit more convenient for me. So she's she's far. I do not wanna activate her down here because then I would have the furthest place to run. So I'm gonna just keep following her. Come on. I just want her to get into a better position. There we go. Okay, now we're running towards the beam. Keep going. All right, this should be just about good enough. Where's that beam at? It's over there, okay. 
Oh, she's circling back. No, she's circling away from it. No. All right, this should be good enough that it's kind of lined up with the beam over there. Well, actually, this is even better. Okay, yes, yes, yes. You're going in the right direction. All right, I'm gonna click her. One, two, three. Should be good enough. Okay, so activate and now run. There's the beam right over there. Okay, good. Ooh, I'm still far though. There goes the star. All right, this one's gonna be a tricky one because it's not close at all. There it goes, it's going really far. So just pay attention to where it lines up and just straighten out and go straight for it. I'm just gonna go around this because I know it's hard terrain over there. The terrain's really difficult to navigate. And there she is, she's back down in this like little ditch again. All right, how many Yule goats have we found? So seven, this is the last one. This is the last one for the Veldale location. All right, so activate, click, watch those babies run. One went that way. There we go. Oh, there's another one. You can kind of see it peeking out. Their little goat sounds are so cute. Okay, activate that one. All right, we got all three. Now take them back to the mom. That's it. Click them back to her. Now this one, it doesn't matter. I just can just run from this one since she is the last goat that I need to find. The portal will be closed after this, so I don't actually have to line her up where I can see the beam of light. Again, these are just my tips of what work for me and how I've been able to find all the Yule goats. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Oh, she stopped. I'm gonna do a video on all the other locations in case you want to kind of see those but trust me it will be a piece of cake now finding them the hollow woods are just really difficult for some it's just difficult because of all the trees and places that they can hide and it's just difficult terrain so let's go ahead and we'll activate her boom and here we go now we go into the cutscene where it shows that the yule goat spirits are going into the portal Ugh. and boom the portal has been closed. Ah, so just like that, now you can no longer see the portal active, so it doesn't have that beam of light. So this is how you know you got all eight of the Yule Goats, and it will say zero out of eight to find. So there's nothing more to find here. So come join me at the other locations. I'm gonna do Fort Pinta, I think, next. Make sure you subscribe to me, Honey Heart C, for more Star Stable fun, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Woohoo!